All right, it's uh, it's been a while since my last art video. <laughs> I think the one struggle I hear all the time from artists is that hands are hard. They are definitely pretty awkward, but there are some things that you can learn to make drawing them actually pretty easy. Let me show you how I've learned to break them down and make drawing them a little more manageable. So the awkward thing is, even hands don't look like hands when you think about it. Like, you slightly change the angle or pose and it's basically a completely different object. So especially if you're not experienced, you should definitely use references. Also remember that if you can't quite find the right reference, you literally have a great source for hand references on you at all times. Unless you don't have hands, in which case you're amazing for still drawing, please keep going. Oh my I actually take pictures of my hands all the time to use as reference to get the exact pose I'm looking for. Here's some glamorous ones just to show you, alongside the artworks. I actually took a reference pic for this very thumbnail as well. All you've got to do is snap a picture, or sometimes I even just pose my hand in the mirror. Hands can be broken into a small number of basic shapes, and once you've got that figured out, laying down a rough sketch is actually really easy. Let me just show you on this simple pose here. For the palm, you can kind of think of it as this sort of shape here, where it's sort of just a, a tapered rectangle. With this basic shape, you can cover most hand poses. As you can see, it pretty much fits into any one of these. We of course skew it around a bit to fit the angle, but the basic shape remains the same. So for the fingers, you kind of want to block out this general gesture. Don't even worry about the individual fingers. I see a lot of people focusing on all this detail right here in the early stages. You really don't need to. We're just looking to capture the energy of the gesture. We put this triangle for the thumb here, and then thumb just comes out in like as little lines as possible. The less lines you can use to convey your gesture, the better. And just like that, you can already see that's a hand. There are slight variations of this, for example, when looking at the side profile. We're still using this sort of quadrilateral here. But that also makes up the base of the thumb in this case. But it remains pretty much the same, we're just blocking out all the big shapes that we see. Oh, you know, in some cases you want to do multiple little shapes for the fingers when they're spread out like this. Again, just triangle for the thumb comes out. Two lines, super simple. And that's how easy it is to just capture the gesture. So for the next stage, we're just looking at how we can cut into these shapes to give them more definition. Look at the negative spaces here and kind of treat those as shapes. If we look at where the fingers separate, you'll see that they cut into our big shape. And that's what we're looking at when we're defining the shape of the hand. So again, I'll quickly copy that onto this little demonstration here. This is super rushed just for the sake of the tutorial, but look how easy that is. With the negative shapes in place, that's basically your foundation. Now you just got to clean up and add that juicy detail. So with details, we're kind of just looking at the different muscle groups that make up the hand, which sounds a lot more intimidating than it really is. All we really need to look at is the muscle groups that make up the palm, that sort of make these kind of shapes here, and then the slightly squishy bit just under the knuckles. They'll interact a little differently depending on what pose the hand is in. So again, stick to the reference and just look at how the shapes overlap. You don't necessarily need to draw in these shapes, but it's definitely something to consider when you're looking at the shading, you know? Look at how the shapes interact with shadows differently depending on the angle and pose. And then you can also use these to reference where the wrinkles go. Once you start thinking about hands as shapes instead of all these little weird bumps and notches, you'll realize that hands are actually really easy to draw. I think it's time to show you some proper demonstrations now. So here's just a couple time lapses of me drawing different hands from references. Of course, with different body types, you'll get different levels of fleshiness, I guess. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> but the foundation remains the same. Just think about the basic shapes and build on top of it. I think I'd also like to make a second video, just going much more in depth, maybe about stylizing as well. So let me know if that's anything you'd be interested in. But for now, that's about it. Hope this helped you in some way and um, subscribe in the next 10 seconds or I will steal your hands. I will steal- you think I'm joking, I'm already on the way to your location. <laughs> I need one. <laughs> Why is it so dry in this room, dude? And then with the negative, and then with the negative, uh, and then with the negative shapes in, what was I saying? <laughs> Dude, my voice is so croaky today. Uh, 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 Why am I metal growling in an art video?